and welcome back to another video. Um, I got one, two maybe, I don't know. Uh, well actually, yeah, two things to say. Um, Harry from Harry Part 2 actually uh, notified me um, about my outfit, which was this t-shirt. And um, I, this is the t-shirt I wear mostly in my, most of my things anyway. Um, so I thought I might try it on today. Uh, in my first video, I was just watching it a few minutes ago, or a few hours ago even, uh, and I was wearing a jumper, uh, which I still have, I believe. So, anyway, you're probably wondering why we have so many things here today. If you've read the title, we're feeding all of our animals. We have the budgies down here, you probably can't see them. We've got some dog food for my dog, which we're going to meet. We're going to do a, um, hopefully a whole video on him. We've got crickets, which is the first thing we're going to feed. We've got bananas, fruits, knives, we don't talk about that. Uh, fish, I haven't fed any animals today for this video. Um, trill, everything, and we're going to get to the leopard gecko. We're going to have a look at his habitat for the first time. And we're going to have a look at some detailed things about them as well. So I guess you could consider it as a special. One other thing to say I wanted to say is, uh, if you look at the channel art, I have updated it now. So it actually says, uh, like a routine. Uh, at the moment, I can't actually stick to it because of the coronavirus, but I'm going to see what I can do about it. Uh, one other notification is there's two things I want you to spot in this video. One is an animal that we won't be feeding, but is hunting something in this very room. You will be able to see it in the video. Actually, you will be, but once I move all of this, you'll be definitely able to see it. And the LWL sign, also known as the Mantua Lloyd sign. Um, it's somewhere in this setting. If you found it, comment it down below. So we're going to start with first things first, which is Senor Locusts. Now these are going to be used a bit later on for feeding someone, also known as uh, the Leopard Gecko. Now what do I do with my tweezers? There they are. Right. Ah. Go down. Go, 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 go. So the problem with locusts is they stick to the top and they like, they don't really want to move. So you've got to push them through these little bar things here. Or sometimes you can hammer it down. And you're still there, go away. Go away, I know you're about to get fed and it's all exciting. But you need to go down there, right. So what we feed these, I think, I believe this is some sort of kale or cabbage. We get it fresh from the ground, obviously you wash it first. Um, because we don't want any bites to, uh, mites to get into uh, Leo. Um, but yeah, we get it freshly picked out the ground for us, and that is that. So in it goes. Now, this isn't very exciting, obviously. They don't, you probably won't even see them eat it because they're so small. If you don't like, uh, if you have uh, arachnophobia, I'd look away. But you see, they eat it, but you won't be able to see it because their mouths are so small. So we can put them down there. I'm going to put them in a dung pile. Now then, the fish. I don't I believe you've ever seen me feed the fish before. Um, they are the first thing we're going to feed. Well, animal, I guess, because they're insects. Insects aren't animals. Well, they oh, I don't know. They're part of the Animalian Kingdom. So I guess they're kind of about animals. But they're invertebrates, which if you were doing taxonomy and the cl classification rubbish, you would slowly come out to that. So let's get on with the fish. So, uh, at the right when I got the fish, I showed you that I fed them one thing, which is the pellets. I've had to get some new ones quite a long time ago, actually. Um, why is the price tag still on there? This now costs four ninety nine. Uh, these are actually different to the last pellet I used. I've actually got the container on here. Uh, which is, these are, these are soft pellets, these aren't soft pellets, so they're a bit different, they're a bit smaller as well, and they've got added insect protection. So that's one thing we feed them. Um, the other thing we feed them is algae wafers, although I don't think we're going to feed them today because I've got uh, not that many left, so they can go back in, but I normally feed them then. Unfortunately, our algae feeder has actually passed away due to the coronavirus. Not because it had coronavirus, because we weren't able to go out and buy it some pet food. But, um, and also, we weren't able to clean the tank, because we want to... Uh, before the coronavirus, I think it was in December, we went out to someone's funeral in London, so we didn't get to clean out the aquarium in, 
I think it was four days we went out for. But this is new, I don't think you've ever seen me uh, hold this before, but this is uh, flakes. We managed to get a packet of these uh, before the coronavirus, so we do actually have a packet of these, which we will be feeding them. So we might as well get on with it. Open. We have to move these back. I've got my cactus up here and everything, and the cows up there. So, this is what they look like inside. Not very exciting, they have small pellets that you just sprinkle in. See, there they go. And then here comes Columbo, also known as Reef, who likes eating them. And the guppy, he prefers eating bees. Now these are just mixed flakes, really. I don't really know any, I'm not a fish food manufacturer, so I don't know which flake means what. But, uh, actually I think it says on the side, actually. Maybe lucky here. No, it just has different colours. So you can put them in the dumb now the budgies, now you haven't actually seen the budgies yet, but I'll, I'll close that up before they jump out. Right, let's see if I can get the budgies up on the desk up here. Move them back down on my chair. Now the budgies, in the budgies video I actually had a um, stool for them to sit on, but this time I don't. So, we're going to start with something a bit basic, which is budgie seed, which is what I feed them. Uh, and that is called trill. Now why I get trill and not some uh, other one is because trill actually, because it's small and it's quite expensive, because it uh, the reason it's a bit more expensive than normal budgery, budgery, budgery gar food is because it comes with everything. So in a matter of fact, you're getting it for cheaper than you would if you bought the regular food. Because you have to buy a uh, millet, which is a plant that grows. All you get in the other one, I think, is natural seeds and whole grains, which is uh, the only one that you get in the normal one. But in this one, you get all of the vitamin D and all that rubbish. Interesting vitamins, as the Americans would say. By the way, I'm not American. I'm not trying to make fun of your language. Bit of water in there since I washed it a bit earlier. Because I have cleaned them all out. Because uh, these did have shells in, which I have to clean out every so often. So, I can actually show you what the trill looks like. At the moment we're rationing them, so we don't, we don't give them that much. We also mix it in with a bit of fruit, so... That's what they look like. All of those different grains are different plants that they come from. And they can get back in there. Right then, so we feed them a quarter of a banana and an orange, but we've only just started doing this just because they've got a little bit older uh, and um, they have, their diet differs as they age basically. Um, oh look, they're, oh yeah, they're starving. They can't wait until their meal. So what we do here is we get a banana chop one bit off like this, go in there, why am I putting a knife in there, it's not what we're wondering, put that on the floor, right, and then we go in there, just junk it in their food bowl, you can chop them up into smaller pieces so they literally eat it so you're not wasting your food, because sometimes they can waste it, you can chop it up into small bits like that, and then you just... Put the knife on the floor before you hurt one of them. You can just go in like this and pour it all in. And then they'll slowly peck away at them. I was going to give them an orange, so I might just put that on the bottom. So you might have... I'm not using all the banana. We only use half a half a banana. Uh, and then you can top that up in the morning or whenever. Once a week, I think they need their fruit when they get this age. Because I don't know how old they are exactly, but I know they aren't babies. <laughs> if you see what I mean. They're not chicks anymore. This is not how you peel an orange in real life. Uh, this is just a bit hard, so I need to get the juice out. This is, so basically I'm using a mouldy orange here. I mean, it's not mouldy as such, it's just a little bit out of date. Actually, what does it look like inside? It still smells edible. So, well, I mean, it's not smell of it. It's reasonably edible, I should say. Although I don't eat oranges very often. But anyway, if you have like a spare orange lying around and you have budgies, always put it on top of their ladder, I guess. That's where we can put it. 
This is the first time we've tried orange, actually, for them. We've tried apple before, they don't really like that, because it's not a very exotic fruit. So that is the budgies. Now, the dog, as I like to call him. The dog, I should say. He, my friends, doesn't like the budgies because they move into... Uh, well, actually, we'll get to him a bit later on. But, well, actually, no, not later on. We're going to do him next so we can sort of uh, even it out here. So I'm going to go and fetch him. I've got him in the next room along in the toilet. So I'm going to um, pause the video here. And I'm going to put the budgies in where he is. And I'll replace him. So I shall see you a bit later. I am back, and I do have the dog. Here he is. Now, he is a Kelpie cross collie. Um, so we're gonna give him his Dillins! Is he Dillins, Slime Rod, yeah? Dillins! His name's Rog, or Roro, but we like to call him Rog. So, we give him half a tin. Oh yeah, you smell your biscuits. And we give him uh, these biscuits. Mmm, is that Dr. John Biscuits Gold? We've got chicken and vegetables. So, this is his bowl. Where's my fork? Here's my fork. So, we give him half a tin of this because we're rationing it. You know, normally, we get a full tin. And then we give him two handfuls of this. So, is he getting in So, that's one handful. And another handful. So, if I was a dog, I probably would like them. Anyway. I'm not very good at opening tins, you see. Well, they're like that kind of. Oh, you've got juice coming out there, Rog. Gravy. Right, so this is actually gravy instead of jelly. Because he likes his gravy. So that's what it, I don't really want to turn it, but I'll show you what it looks like in the tin. But, or in the poop then. But if we empty the gravy on his. Oh, you smell it, don't you, Rog? Yeah, you smell it. So we sort of just squeeze it out like that. We stir it round. I may have just given him a meal there. Just, well, a proper full on meal. Obviously, he's got his meal, but uh, just because I may have just given him uh, one more meaty chunk. So, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to see him on the camera unless I lower the camera slightly, but there is your Dindians, Rog. Enjoy. Let's see if I can lower the camera here. on my bed there, we don't want to see that. Right, so, let's see if we can turn that around so you face the camera there, Rog. Turn around. So, um, we also, uh, if he's been good, we give him a bit of bread. And his favourite, his most favourite thing in the world, his favourite food, apart from dog food and bread, is cheese. He loves himself some cheese. If you just say cheese... Okay, because he's eating his dinner, but, you know, he just loves his cheese. His cheese, his cheddar, his edam, doesn't matter what kind of cheese it is, he'll eat it. I don't know what it is, he's a weird dog. He loves his cheese. So we've given him the nickname Cheese, also known as Fromage and El Cueso. It depends what, where you come from in the world. El Cueso is Spanish and Fromage in, is French. And you could call him Mozzarella if you come from Italy. Italy. Um... Anyway, uh, we are going to have a whole video about the dog here, um, but um, I'm going to give you a bit of facts about him. So, um, uh, the dog here is uh, aggressive. Um, he knows who I am, but if, he, if there was like a stranger stood there, he would go for them, whether he has his dinner or not. But uh, he is natively known as a dingo, um, and... At the moment, actually, just if you want more facts before the video, go on Google, search up Australian dingo. It will come up with all the facts about dog here. He doesn't look like a dingo that you would see. You might find the odd one, though. But this guy is crossbreeded. He's crossbreeded between a uh, border collie and a uh, kelpie, which is what they call him in England. Uh, and he is, or she is, I should say, it's actually a she, um, but she is 
uh, crossbreeded between a, a Border Collie and a Kelpie, which makes her have this sort of black on her, which you and black and white actually, which you would not find on a real uh, dingo in Australia, in the Australian outback. They normally only a light brown or a dark brown. But enough facts on the dog here. Um, we're just... Is about your in the Yeah. So, um, after this, I'm going to let her out. Um, and... Because she needs to go down to do her daily business. Uh, <laughs> but, um... And then we can move on to probably everyone in this channel's favourite animal, Leo. Uh, although, um... I'll see if I can put a timer or a time on the screen in a minute um, to show you when to skip to if you don't want to see Leo eating. Because when he eats, it's a bit... Uh, it can be a bit violent. Let's just put it like that. But if you're really interested how a reptile eats... Uh, well, actually, if we think about it, how, what mammals have we seen so far? We've seen birds eat, we've seen a mammal eat, we've seen fish eat, and then we're about to see a reptile. What else is there? Fish, mammal, birds, his dinner's gone. Uh, fish, mammal, reptile, birds. Is there any more? Apart from insects and that sort of thing. I don't think there is. Anyway, that is all gone. He likes his dinner. Right, I shall let him down once I adjust the camera. I'm going to let him down for his tindins and then, or it's not his tindins, go to his daily business and then we can see Leo. Right, I am back. Now, I hope, well, why am I saying this? I'm just going to say, I hope you're feeling tense, but to me that was about five minutes, but to you that was about a second, wasn't it? We're going to see... The king of the room himself, Mr. Leo. So, from earlier, you can remember these guys, the locusts. Now, hopefully I've got a timer on the screen now, so you can skip to that time. Because we're going to the Leo den. Dun 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 dun, intensive music. Dun dun dun. I shall see you there. Hello. That might be a bit close for you, but I am behind the camera, and this is the Leo Den, as I like to call it. And no, it's not dangerous. Leo is not dangerous, I just put that there for the giggles. Um, so, if we open the glass. Uh, he he's not a, an omnivore, so that, that is dead. That is just in there for the crickets, or the um, crickets, locusts, whatever you want to call them. Not your cactus. Ah, here he comes. He knows something's going on. Now, I uh, hope if you don't uh, like violence or um, reptile feeding here, you have skipped the video. Some of these crickets are very eager to get out. Ready? Here he goes. There he goes. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna, how many we're gonna feed him. About three, probably. The crickets are getting scared, scared now. Yeah, but there's still ones that want to own up here. Ready? Oh, he's still eating that one. But all it takes is one to go in front of him. Let's just move that. I don't think you can quite see it there. There we go. Three. As soon as he sees this one. All it takes is a little nudge here. Oh! I think he's got it. Open it up there. Let's just move his cave over there for a minute. Oh, God, he's missed him. Come on! Just finished off that one. So, let me get that one behind him. Oh, really? Come on. He's just woken up, you see. He wants to be a star. Oh, really? Why are you going to go over there? I'm going to take his cave completely out so we can see the Leo star himself. And yes, he has got a spotlight on it. He's not interested in it now, is he? Gonna move him over here. Oh come on, Ethan. There we go. See him now? Oh for goodness sake, he's right in front of you. Get him, come on! 
Fulton. I think he's full already. We did get one shot on camera though. I'm not gonna stroke him because he might bite. He does nip a little bit. Let's give you a more lively one, yeah? That one's in there for dinner, yeah? Tea tonight, yeah. I'll have that with your afternoon tea. Or afternoon water, I should say. I'm not giving him tea, don't worry. Don't give any animal tea, I don't suggest. Don't give any animal what, avocado either, not even budgies. Because it's venomous to everything but humans. Oh, for, yeah, I think he's... Oh, he's gone, he's... Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you can see my man in there. Um, I don't think he's that hungry anymore. And that was very, um... That's a, what, what a shame, I should say. Put his cave back in so he can go back to sleep, but... What a real shame. I mean, at least he did eat one. And one's probably the best you can get out of him, because leopard geckos ration their food. So, that wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be, but... Still. But anyway, this is what I mean. So if he doesn't eat one, the, um... The locusts can actually eat from their vegetation here, but I need to top that up with some more parsley. He's over there in the corner. Right, let's head back and we'll do the outro. I do hope you enjoyed uh, the Leo. Um, we are going to have a Leo part three coming up next week, I think, on Wednesday. Hopefully, it'll be definitely next week sometime, so that's going to be quite exciting. Um... So, as you can see, actually, I'm going to give you, at the beginning of the video, I did say there is two things you've got to look out for. One is an animal that we're not feeding, but is hunting another animal. And the other one is the LWL logo. Um, I have actually refreshed, I did this, uh, when did I do this last? The first ever video I did this on, I think. Um, and I'll show you what I was telling you to look for then. This. I believe this was in the archive. I mean, it was in my archive. It was in my archive, obviously. Um, this is what you used to be looking for. But somewhere here, there's something a bit different. The new logo, if you haven't seen it already, go and just go into the channel, and it's actually on the... Uh, what's it called? Channel art. It's on the channel art. Uh, Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed. Let's get see if we can get a like goal of uh, 11 likes. We'll go for something a bit fancy today. Um, I do hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>